So I'm here with an empties video for you today and I've had this bag of empties lying around my house for about a month and a half, almost two months now, and I'm getting incredibly fed up of it being here, so I thought I'd better get on and film this video. So I've got the bag right here, it's in a top man bag, um, and I'm gonna just rummage through and tell you what I've used up. So the first thing is a shower gel, and this is the Tesco Wake Up Shower Cream Exotic Coconut and Mango. This is really nice, it smells really kind of tropical and like sunscreen, and I'm not massively fussed about shower gels. I will admit that Soap and Glory are my favorite shower gels, but this was nice, I would probably buy it again when I was doing my food shop. Then I've got, um, I'm gonna do this in a kind of random order. This is the Scent Grapes, um, what is this called? Oh, the Exotic Soaking Salt. And this was just a kind of bath salt, completely empty as you can see. This was really nice. It kind of didn't have that traditional lavender smell, which I do really like, but I also find that um, sometimes it's nice to have something a little bit more invigorating. And this kind of was very menthol, which was really nice. So I would repurchase this um, if I was on the market for another bath salt. But to be fair, I do prefer bath oils. Then what else have we got in here? Um, Facial skincare. I finished this Enspa Revitalizing Vitamin Toning Mist. I love this in the morning, in the winter. I've re already repurchased this and I've got my new one on the go at the moment. You can purchase these in Asda and I really like it. It's just really great and really helps my skin kind of look juicy and plump when it's a little bit dull outside. I should have really gotten these out of the bag before I was showing you, shouldn't I? <laughs> then I've got the Aromatherapy Associates Polishing Natural Exfoliating Scrub, which looks like this. I have completely finished this, um, I'll show you. It's kind of a very grainy, sandy scrub. It's got a very unusual scent. It's a very unusual product, actually, and it's very expensive, but it is a lovely kind of luxury item, and I really like the packaging of it, so really do like that. Then, what else have we got in here? Um, a hair product I used up. Actually, I've got a couple of hair products in here. The first one I used up is the VO5 Give Me Texture Tussle Style Spray. I have already repurchased this because I really like it. I only wear it um, when I'm wearing my hair curly and it really does help to kind of add a little bit of hold and give that rough texture. The only thing I dislike about these types of products is for some reason the um, kind of nozzle bit always gets clogged up. Same goes for the TG salt spray. I love that, but it's just impossible to use because after a while it gets clogged and there's nothing you can do about it and it's really irritating. So I wonder with this if maybe I just had a dud um, and the new one will be okay, but I do like this and I have actually bought the Tussled Style kind of dry texturizing spray as well. I've got that in my hair today. Don't know how well it's showing up, um, but I do really like the range of products from the Tussled Style um, section anyway and then another one is this little mini John Frieda luxurious volume blow dry lotion I've gone through loads of these if I um, dry my hair and then straighten it I like to just put a little bit of this in the roots and it does add a little bit of body and then what else do we have in here another shower gel this is quite a luxurious shower gel this is with the Liz Earl um, orange flower botanical body wash I love the scent of this, but it did dry my skin out a little bit. I felt like it was a little bit soap-like, so I'm not too sure if um, that was just kind of me or because my skin's been quite dry lately because it's cold, but I don't know if I'd repurchase this. It was kind of nice, but not outstanding. And then I've got a fragrance kind of mist here. Now, I don't wear this as a fragrance. This is the French Connection Polished Body Spray. And they describe it as a warm and sensual scent that blends sparkling mandarin and... I don't know what the hell that says. Osma, I don't know what that means. Some flower anyway. With creamy vanilla notes. And it is very vanilla-y and it's a very warm scent. It's really nice, it's a kind of memory scent. I used to kind of like it when I was younger, my aunt always used to wear it. And I like to just spray this on my kind of cushions and bed and bathroom. I just use it as kind of a fragrance, a room fragrance spray. But it's really cute and you can kind of pop it in your handbag and I don't know, I think it's really sweet anyway and I would definitely repurchase that. You can buy them in boots and they're around three pounds. But I think that is everything that I have used up. Yep, that's all my empties for the month of February. I have got one more empty that actually should be behind me here somewhere. Well, I did have, and I've got the little bottles of of it on display. Here it is. Um, I've got these bottles on display because I think they're really pretty, but I used up another one of the Aromatherapy Associates um, bath and shower oils. This was the de-stress one. 
I've got another empty one down there, but I've got them on the display cabinet because I think they just look so pretty. Is that really weird of me? But um, yeah, I used that up this month as well and um, I'd been having a bath pretty much every night so I was using them a lot. But I hope you enjoyed this video, quick and easy video um, because I've got people coming around in about an hour and my house looks like a bomb has gone off in it so I've got to do the kind of manic pre... <sighs> Pre guests coming over tidy up so wish me luck while I'm doing that and I will be back with a couple more interesting videos for you um, later on in the week I've got a haul coming up I've got um, a video on how I keep my teeth white um, skincare video I've got a bunch of kind of interesting videos coming up so keep your eyes peeled for those and I will see you in my next video bye